2709G Volkswagen Jetta. I'm going back with it, uh, doing a full rebuild. Now I want you to notice that this sleeve likes to rotate. If this sleeve is loose, Sonox has an updated one that has a little hole that you put a pin and you uh, press it back into the hole uh, so it won't spin anymore so that the, uh, the fill passages that uh, fills the clutch drum uh, should be clear. If, this, if it spins, it'll block the feed hole and you will lose uh, four, fifth, and six gears. We want to point that out to you and uh, I'm going back with the assembly on this 09G 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. Got the K2 clutch drum, that's what's next. That's the first thing that's going to go, go into the barrel in the case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the rear planet and put it on the K2 clutch drum and uh, drop it in as an assembly. That's what I'm going to do next. That's our next step. Okay, here we go. Into the case. K2. Now we follow it with our uh, Sprag one-way clutch. It rotates clockwise and it locks counterclockwise. It's our low Sprag or B2 Sprag. Now the output gear is next with the support. Output ring gear and support. See how one gear turns one way and the other reacts to the opposite direction? This is our uh, K2 clutch drum shaft 09G. Followed by our transfer gear. Okay, we now continue with the parking mechanism. We first install our parking pole and then our pin through the back, it has the access hole in the back. Through there you take that uh, plug out and you pull the pin out. And then we put this assembly here with the, uh, well next goes uh, this item down here that has a little uh, spring that pushes the parking pole against the gear so it won't engage itself. And uh, then this assembly now we're going to continue stacking our, our assemblies and sub-assemblies and then we're going to put our rooster comb and our shaft that goes from, uh, from the top of the unit all the way to the valve body. Okay, next was the B1 shell followed by the sun gear shell. Needle bearing raise and a needle bearing. Okay, so next is gonna be our K1 drum. Just drops in there. And uh, the front planet and the K3 clutch drum assembly already assembled. I'm gonna drop it in there. Now this uh, K3 and the K1, they both assemble on the same uh, uh, front planet. Let me show you here. This is the front planet. I gotta engage it on the K1. Okay, it's already bottomed out. Now we get the K3 clutch drum assembly. And we'll engage the clutches on that. 
There we go. On there. Okay. So now we uh, put the B1 clutches, or the ones that are next, the B1 clutches. Now that we have our B1 clutches installed, we put the B1 clutch return spring. There's a cutout, a circle there for so you can clear the differential. It's a little tricky once everything's assembled, but there we go. Next is going to be our linkage rod that goes right across with our rooster comb assembly that goes in here. The clicker, the one that clicks when you move the selector, uh, the shift selector. And then our pump, our bell housing, and then the most fun part, the valve body. Okay, we got the pump already assembled. Already got the linkage rod, the rooster comb, the detent roller, everything assembled. Our differential, this is our pump. Turn our input shaft. Okay. Put our bell housing. We're ready to put our install our bell housing on this 09G 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. Six speed front wheel drive automatic 09G. This is what's next coming up. Stay tuned. Part 2 is going to be valve body only. Stay tuned. 09G09G TF60SN.